Say hi to the viewers. I have come up with a design for a multi-purpose divider. So this is going to be the divider between the front and back of the van and separate it and insulate it. The other part of this divider is it's going to act as a projector screen so that I can have a home theater inside my van. So I picked up this white sheet for two dollars at a thrift store. It's in really good shape. I've taken measurements of the van that I need to take. So uh, I need to cut out a piece as a divider that is 41 inches by four foot seven inches. So I'm going to do that now. I'm going to make that out of the Reflectix first and that's going to slide in between this sheet that's folded over. And then on the back side, I'm going to end up putting burlap. So my Reflectix is pretty limited, the amount that I have. So I actually took a scrap piece and added a whole bunch of other scrap pieces. Slightly off, but this is the proper measurement, this bottom one. And that one is gonna be the top and this one will be the bottom. So it's gonna be hidden away a little bit. So if some of you were paying attention, you might have realized that I accidentally made pretty much a square, which is not what I needed. So I had to make some more cuts. It needed to be four foot seven this way and only 41 that way. So it's actually, it should be a rectangle, but what has actually happened here is I've also cut it so that it kind of goes up and up because of how I'm going to be attaching it to the van. And um, I want it to be as blocked off as possible with the Reflectix because that's the insulating property of this. So what I'm doing now is I'm actually going to cut out this burlap. This has been uh, flame retardant treated naturally just with borax. I have another video on that. You should go check out. The card will be popping up right now. But I'm going to be attaching this just with uh, silicone so that it can be glued to it enough. And then I'll actually be sewing this on through this, through the burlap all the way up and around. So it's gonna be quite a bit of hand sewing, quite a bit of work, unfortunately, um, but uh, it's going to be really good once it's done. <laughs> Got the burlap, just make an incision there. Um, it is a little more see-through than I'd like, but I think it's gonna be okay. And then I'm gonna do the next one over there, which I have a piece there. Look at this piece of art. It's beautiful. So all I did was do a little stitching across, connected those, made it all one piece. And because I used two different um, burlap sacks, I also, you can kind of see, I did some stitching, just wasn't like a lot. It was just to hold it in place uh, while it sets even further and uh, to keep everything connected. And then down below is the only part I haven't finished yet. So this isn't connected down here. And then up here, it doesn't need to be connected uh, because I'll show you that in a second. Um, but uh, down here, I'm just going to finish by stitching that all, making it tight. And that is my projector screen slash curtain divider for my minivan. Okay, so here comes a pretty tricky part. So there's actually this cross beam right here I'm gonna try to mount it to. But what I'm dealing with is these self-tapping screws and uh, just some washers to kind of spread out the pressure um, of the weight. And I have five of them in there. So I'm gonna tuck this up there and screw directly into that cross. It's definitely a pretty tricky thing to do, uh, but we'll see if I can do it. possible to get at. Ah. 
so let's take a look. This is your curtain divider. Comes up and it's going to attach to the ceiling up there. Just like so. And from this side, just look, just looks like you're delivering a whole bunch of coffee. <laughs> so much that your entire van is full. It's been a little while now that I've had this set up and I've run into a couple of problems that I'm going to solve in future videos, but I just want to touch on them now so that you don't make the same mistakes while you follow this instructional. So adhering this to the top, just using two pieces of Velcro that's attached with epoxy isn't going to quite cut it. You'll see here, this has actually come off of this one. This one's still up, but that's the second time I've attached that one. And even when it's up, it's still really bubbly. And so when you're standing here and you're feeling kind of cramped because it's falling down on you. So I do have a really cool solution that I'm gonna implement. I'm just waiting on a couple items in the mail for that. And there'll be another video coming out really, really soon. Because check it out, I've got my projector. You see that? And uh, got the mount for it all built. I'm gonna show you how to build that how to set it up like this. And you're gonna see how well this thing actually functions as a projector screen, not just an insulator and a barrier against light. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate that. Hope this was valuable to you in some way. And I hope you do check out those other videos that I referenced and uh, stay on this channel, hit subscribe, like this video and share it with somebody that you think would also enjoy it. And I'll see you guys on the next one.